piece of YouTube. Uh, I've been meaning to put out some videos. Um, really, I was waiting for the ban list to come out, like an official ban list, some real skins or whatever. I know that, you know, like fake ban list came out, like three or four of them, and other YouTubers just jumped on the bandwagon. And I was like, no, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait for the real ban list to come out and, you know, get my opinions on it. It's out. It's crazy. And oh my goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this and try and analyze this. And, Ooh, Konami, if they were trying to shake up the game, they definitely did. Okay, so banned. Uh, we got Rescue Cat. I'm shocked. Uh, if you would have bet me like a week ago that this would have gotten banned, uh, I'd have took that bet, and I probably would have lost like 20 bucks. I just, I didn't see it coming, considering they have all the beast support, the natural is, and all that. I just didn't think that they'd actually ban it. I mean, uh, they fucking jumped on this quicker than Dark Strike Fighter, like... I, I applaud you, Konami. Good job. Uh, Heavy Storm? Wow. <laughs> this card's been legal for forever. I, I didn't think that there was any danger of this card getting banned. I mean, maybe they thought, like, it, this is Cold Wave, but I, I really didn't think Heavy Storm was on the hot seat. Um, you know, okay, it's, it's definitely going to be one of those things that impacts the format. Like, impacts the game as a whole, to be honest. I mean, people will now can, like, set four traps and, like, mm, I'm good. Um, brain control again it's not a card that I thought was on the hot seat I thought the only spell card that was like really really on the hot seat was cold wave you know I can easily see brain it's broken I mean a lot of people wanted out the game I wanted out the game too um, I mean I could have lived if they didn't ban it but good job um, it's a really left set card I hate when like sabers or monarch choose it um, substitute uh, again a card that they just really hopped on really really quick um i mean frogs just won worlds and you know the ban list is supposedly made way before worlds but i mean just the banning of substitute kind of makes me think otherwise like you know somebody in the meeting was like hmm, let's do something about those frogs okay let's ban substitute good job you know um black whirlwind thanks a lot japan assholes um anyways so <sighs> I don't know what to make of this. It's like Black Wings didn't really do anything here in this format, but they completely wrecked Japan. And I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be very hard to run this deck. I mean, I, I honestly wouldn't touch Black Wings now because, like, this is your bread. This is your bread maker. Like this this card does all the work. Um, I just think Black Wings are not gonna be the same without two whirlwinds. And then on top of that, if that wasn't enough, whoa, oppression to one. I mean, that hurts Black Wings. Um, tremendously also but you know what it's like this hurts the whole format like is it me or does this completely like wreck anti-meta I mean damn one oppression you know I think Konami's trying to replace oppression with that new card that they have coming out and I believe it's Star Strike Blast where every time you special summon the controller or the person who special summons has to discard a card I think that's what they're trying to replace oppression with so um, don't be surprised if oppression ends up getting banned um, I think it was fine at two, but, you know, whatever. Launcher, um, you knew they were going to hit Infernies. Uh, they weren't really doing much, so, I mean, I don't want to say the deck is dead, but, I mean, it's going to be hard to maneuver with it. I mean, you got Reborn now, and that kind of helps, but with one Launcher, like MST at two, somebody just, they can just sit on their MST, wait for you to use Launcher, they MST will win, like... You only the only way you can swarm now is like with Mirage, and you can't even do like the broken shenanigans anymore. I can't even. I can't even like I, if Konami was like a girl, I would. I would look at it. I would look at Konami and be like, I can't even look at you right now. I'm like you, you unbanned these shits. <laughs> oh my god! It's like the third time this card got unbanned. And what is this? Everybody is looking at Dark Dark Hole and like, yeah, yeah, it's balanced because Starlight Road is out. Okay, so every single time somebody plays Darko, you're gonna have Starlight Road. Really? Every single time? This shit ain't balanced? Are you kidding? Oh my lord, what were they thinking? It's like they brought these two back and then they limited oppression. Like, this format is gonna be so ridiculously fast. Oh my goodness. Oh man. They should have just brought back Ring and Yada and all that shit too. Can't believe they brought back Dark Hole. All right, um, semi limited cards. MST. Uh, I like this one. I mean, you know, it just you only got you don't have heavy anymore, so it's like you need some way of combating people who set like three or four traps first turn. 
you have three decree. I mean, everybody can't play three decree, obviously. So MST helps a little bit. Chaos Sorcerer, very nice on this one. Like the Konami pick. Um, I'm not sure how competitive the deck can be. I'm not completely a fortune teller, but um, I like it. I mean, uh, three I think is too much. Uh, one I thought was solid. I think three's fine though. I'm, I'm sorry. I think two is fine. Don't don't misquote me. Uh, Snipe Hunter. Um, I mean, I, I try to tell you guys about this card. This card is like bad. Um, other than that Fable Cerberus card in Japan, the one that gets summoned when you discard it, which should be limited anyway. Snipe Hunter is pretty much terrible. Um, there's like barely any combos with it anymore, and it's just it's a bad card in my opinion. At least it's bad now. Let me rephrase that. So I mean, it can go to three. I think it will go to three in like six months, to be completely honest. Oh, Geometrio. Uh, this is a card that probably should have went to three the second that um, the Synchro mechanic came out because it kind of became a liability. Um, once I saw this and the next card, uh, Magic Cylinder, I actually thought I was like, hmm, Baboon Burn. And then I realized, like, you know, you can't summon Baboon in the damage step. So it's like, well, the deck's kind of shitty. So, I mean, what this does, though, what these two cards do, I mean, uh, combined, you know, it makes Chain Burn actually pretty viable again. Um, with the fact that Chain Strike's at 2, you got these two at 2, you've got um, Pot of Duality, which you can run a couple copies of to give your deck a little more speed since you're not going to special summon anyway. So I think that's kind of nice. Um, I really like Cylinder. I mean, Cylinder's just like one of those cards where it's like you can kind of, you might try and splash it like a bad player will splash it, uh, splash it in a deck and beat you with it because <laughs> you attack and your life points are lower than your monster's attack. Uh, it's just, it's funny. So, interesting cards. I like these both at two. Very nice Konami. Okay, and cards that are no longer restricted. Um, Black Rose Dragon. Everybody's looking at this like, oh my goodness, this is going to define the format. Um, what? Okay, like Black Rose is a good card and everything. I like Black Rose Dragon, but I mean, outside of like the Breeze Dragon and Black Salvo, I mean, how many times are you seriously going to waste two, two monsters to synchro for this shit when you have to blow up your field? Like... And then, I mean, Starlight's going to be commonly played in this format because of Dark Hole anyway. So, I mean, this is just more shit that your opponent is going to Starlight. So, I'm not crazy about Black Rose. I mean, it's nice, but, I mean, don't think you're going to be summoning this card three times in any duel anytime soon. You know, it should have never been limited to begin with, to be honest. Cyber Dragon and... That sound was the sound of every single gadget player committing suicide because gadgets are so dead. Um, I never thought I'd see Cyber Dragon go back to three. I mean, like Future Fusion, anyone? This is just, this is going to be interesting. Now you can make like Cyber Twin, Cyber N. Like there are so many crazy Future Fusion uh, loops that you can do now. Like the Genzo Returner, um, Overload Fusion, Chimera Tech, like crazy. Um I, th I don't know about this one. I I'm not sure if I like that one or not, to be honest. Goblin Zombie should have never been at two. Treeborn should have never been at two. United We Stand should have never been at two. And Decree uh, should have never been at two. So the last four cards all should have been at three to begin with. Um, like, what was the point of ever restricting United We Stand? Like, I'm pretty sure it's it should be known. Like, people don't play equips in this game unless they either steal your monsters, like Snatch Steal or Mark of the Rose, or... Like, they revive shit from the graveyard, like Premature Burial, and something like that. Um, this is, like, the trippiest ban list I think I've ever seen Konami make. Mainly because of Reborn and Darkhold. Like, it's like they have a love affair with Reborn. I think this is, a, this is the third time it's been unbanned, right? I, I don't know exactly what to think of the format right now. I mean, because of because of the speed of, the speed of Oppression going to 1 and Reborn in... Uh, Dark Hole, it makes the format faster, but you also have stuff like MST and Tecree and Starlight, which will kind of balance it out. I can't say, you know, I like it or hate it yet. I have to play some. I think this is going to be a really hard format to, to define. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to make a, a bunch more videos because this list is so huge. It just, it kind of demands it. Thanks. The Capital G Show is brought to you in part by duelist who bought dark and dragon you mad and thanks to viewers like you thank you